The MACD indicator is a powerful tool that I use with my everyday trading. I think that it could help you. So I'm gonna go over how to use the MACD indicator specifically on Thinkorswim, coming up. What's going on everybody? Welcome to Own the Chaos. My name is Brad. And before I get to the MACD indicator today, just wanna let you know that as a stock trader, you guys probably very well know that I am obsessed with statistics. And statistics say on my channel that about 34% of you are watching but not subscribed. So please, please, if you could subscribe to this channel, if you watch this on a regular basis, or if you're just joining for the first time, hopefully this content today will, will earn my subscription, earn a subscription from you, and also a thumbs up. As you guys know, there's a, you know YouTube favors people who get a lot of likes. And even though I don't try to base all my entire channel on likes and subscribes, it's definitely something that helps support me uh, in my venture with this trading community. And speaking of communities, I'd like to invite you to join WeTradeHQ. It's over there at WeTradeHQ.com. It's a, it's a platform that I built with my partner, Jake, where you can learn and grow and celebrate each other's success with over 4,300 members from around the globe. It's not just dedicated to penny stocks, even though that I trade penny stock specifically, it's designed for any type of trader, whether you're trading Forex, stocks, cryptocurrencies, no matter what you're trading in the market, we trade HQ is the place for you. So let's get started and do make sure that you stick around throughout the whole entire video because I'm going to be going over a heavily modified version of the MACD indicator that I have on Thinkorswim. That's part of our morning mentorship crew and it actually indicates the crosses of the MACD far earlier than the original MACD indicator. I think it's a lot more powerful than just the MACD by itself. So make sure you're sticking around for that because you're not gonna wanna miss it. So looking at my screen here, obviously you can see that I have several different indicators uh, that I use to day trade with. And as you can see, MACD indicator is right here at the top. So what MACD actually stands for is Moving Average Convergence Divergence. Now we have a lot of people within the WeTrade HQ community with a good sense of humor and some that might not take the MACD indicator as seriously as others, but I digress. I think that the, the MACD indicator does have its significance. It's something that I use every day. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what it means, how it can help you buy low, sell high. And obviously, before I get started with this, I also wanna let you know that the MACD indicator isn't the end all be all. You shouldn't be buying and selling just because it's signaling you to do so. Make sure that you're doing your due diligence, you're understanding the stock that you're buying, and also looking for confirmations uh, combined with other indicators uh, that you use as well. But just to go over rather quickly and rather simply, the yellow line represents the signal line, the blue line represents the MACD line, the green bars over the purple signal line represent a bullish move, the red bars below the, sig the purple line represent a bearish move. Now there's several things happening on the MACD indicator that I want you to pay close attention to. To. There's crosses. There's three different types of cro line crosses that I want you to pay attention to. Whenever the signal line crosses the MACD line indicates some sort of momentum shift. When the signal line crosses over the MACD line on an upward momentum shift, this could indicate that the stock is getting ready to turn back down. All right, so the ticker symbol that I'm going to be using just to kind of give you a good example is GOLD. I'm on the five minute chart. Honestly, I think that the five minute chart, the 30 minute chart, and even the daily chart is where the MACD really kind of shines. When a significant catalyst appears on a specific ticker, you can really hone this down and use this as a great day trading type of tool. When you're looking for longer term swings, like if we go back to the daily chart as well, you can see where it gives you some pretty good buying and selling indications uh, on whether or not this is on a bullish or bearish move. Now, when you're looking at the MACD indicator, you can see that there's a blue line and a yellow line. That blue line represents the MACD line. The yellow line represents that signal line. And then you have this purple line here right at the zero mark. That zero mark is really crucial because anytime the MACD indicator is down here below this zero line, that represents a bearish move. As you can see here with the red uh, bars as well, uh, that's a lot of selling volume going on. Consequently, when it crosses over this zero line, you can tell that, that there is some sort of bullish move happening and that it may indicate that there's, this is a good time to buy once it crosses up over that zero. Speaking of crosses, when you see that there's upward momentum starting to occur and this signal line crosses over that MACD, it will indicate to you that there is a up forward or upward momentum taking place here. And then once it crosses that zero, it further confirms that that is taking place. Once it 
this momentum stops. Like for example, if we're looking at gold right here and you, you will see, and let me zoom in here for you, you can see that this is continuing to go up, but once it starts to sell off, you'll see this MACD indicator line cross over the signal line indicating to you that this could potentially be a spot for you to get out before the downtrend continues. This has been a very bullish move. So I probably would consider getting out as soon as that cross happens, only because it's been so bullish over the last two, three weeks that it would indicate to me that, you know what, I'm gonna take my profit and even if it runs, it runs, what have you, I've already made a ton of money off of this. And so I'll move on to the next, to the next one. Now observing downtrends and looking for areas of a reversal is also where the MACD shines. If you're looking here on the MACD indicator, you, you can see uh, where this starts the downtrend, 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 and then the MACD line will cross over that signal line as it starts to curl back up, indicating that potentially this could be on another run. Now, obviously the confirmation isn't really there until after it gets up over that zero line, but you definitely would have had opportunity to get in on this reversal as well. I use the MACD indicator in conjunction with RSI. You can see how well oversold this was. And combining things such as RSI, MACD, and Bollinger Bands, you can get a double and even triple confirmation of an oversold situation that may lend you to a good area to get in on a reversal. Now you may be noticing this strange looking indicator that I have here on Thinkorswim and it is a indicator that has been created within the WeTrade HQ family that actually will alert you when there is a buy signal and a sell signal. We have highlighted in red bearish moves and highlighted in green bullish moves uh, and this is a heavily modified macd indicator if you're looking to find out more information on this specific macd indicator that we have modified go check the links down in the description this is part of the morning mentorship crew that i go live with every morning from 9 a.m to 10 a.m eastern time we create a strategy for folks who are looking to day trade throughout the day and then we execute that plan after the bell uh, and people find a lot of use for that for this and they get a lot of value out of it it costs less than your cable bill so go check it out i'm sure that you would see a lot of value in this as well so that's it for me guys i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did again i certainly would appreciate a thumbs up and if you want to see more content such as this and as many of you may know that this channel isn't just dedicated to stock trading anymore i am a business owner so i'm sharing with folks my journey throughout uh, creating a successful business with my business partner christian we actually will be having future guests on uh, to talk about how they've been able to run their business and find success. I want to try to, I want to have this channel be as inspiring as possible, not just within trading in the stock market, but in all areas of life and what, in areas that I'm finding success. So I do air at what we call a bar cast every Monday where we talk about our struggles, our successes, and how we are doing within our business. Uh, a lot of people are getting value out of that, out of that as well. Uh, and so go check that out. Uh, Mondays is when the podcast comes out. Wednesday, Friday is when we do little highlighted clips of those podcasts as well. If you don't have that time commitment, uh, which I totally understand as busy as I am. So please go check that out. If you want to see more of that, uh, again, uh, I certainly would appreciate it. And that is it for me, guys. As always, I will see you all before the bell. MB Smith is out.